Even more celebrities, influencers, athletes, and politicians have come out this year as LGBT or non-binary. FYI, I respect pronouns and try to double check if I use correct pronouns for all individuals included. This is my fifth video in this series. Please check out the first four videos if you haven't already and my Out and Proud playlist. Stay tuned. Arthur Mariano is a Brazilian gymnast and a member of the Brazilian national team. He has one of the best smiles on the team, by the way. He won the bronze medal in floor exercise at the Summer Olympics in Rio. He is also the 2019 world champion on the horizontal bar. On October 28th, he revealed in an Instagram post that he was in a same-sex relationship Congratulations to him and his boyfriend, Joao. I love that name, Joao. If you're curious, this is the post that he made and features his boyfriend. Julian Morris is an English actor most known for his work in Pretty Little Liars, Once Upon a Time, and New Girl. On December 2nd, Morris announced on an Instagram post that he was celebrating his 18-year anniversary with his partner, Landon. Landon made a similar post. Congratulations on 18 years together. That is so beautiful. Grupo Firme is a regional Mexican music group. The band originally formed in Tijuana. Johnny Cass is the second lead vocalist for the band. Technically, he came out in December of last year, but at a recent concert, his boyfriend, Jonathan, of five years, proposed to him. And the crowd cheered with thunderous applause. I love this so much. You know, a lot of straight people and some gays watch my coming out videos and ask, why is coming out so important? There was someone sitting in that audience who has never seen a gay person and watched two gay men become engaged as thousands cheered. And their mind probably changed about gay people and gay rights. Coming out normalizes the LGBT experience so we're not put in the box of other. Congratulations to both Johnny and Jonathan. You might not know his name, but Casey Frey is an influencer who has had multiple viral videos. He has 2 million Instagram followers, 1 million followers on Twitter, and 400,000 YouTube subscribers. He was interviewed on the podcast this past weekend and stated, I am in a relationship with a dude right now. I met him online. This is his boyfriend. Josh Cavallo is a 22-year-old Australian footballer who plays as a left back for Adelaide United. He received the A-League Rising Star Award from his team after a successful season this year. He came out as gay in October. This is a snippet of what he had to say. I'm a footballer and I'm gay. Growing up, I always felt the need to hide myself, you know, because I was ashamed. And ashamed I'll never be able to do what I love and be gay. You know, hiding who I truly am to pursue a dream I always wished for as a kid. You can watch the full video on Josh's Instagram account. Aiden Agro, aka Biracial Bay, is a professional wrestler with Limitless Wrestling out of Maine. Agro is currently in his third reign as Chaotic Wrestling Tag Team Champion alongside the Danger Kid. He came out as pansexual on Instagram and Twitter in March. What he said was just so casual. <laughs> I actually really loved it. The captain's pansexual, y'all. If you want to stalk him on Instagram, here is his information. 
Kel Penn is an actor most known for his roles in Harold and Kumar, Designated Survivor, and House. In October, while promoting his memoir, You Can't Be Serious, he announced that he was in a same-sex relationship and that he and his partner, Josh, of 11 years, are engaged to be married. He also stated he discovered his sexuality later in life. Congratulations to him. So Mizi Malongo is a South African actor, media personality, and choreographer. He was the lead choreographer for the opening and closing ceremonies for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. He dated an actress, and they had a child together in 95. While dating her, he was in a secret relationship with a man. In 2017, he started dating a male model. They became engaged in 2018 and wed last year. This is their wedding. It is absolutely beautiful. All of the attendees had to wear white. This year, he came out as pansexual. Vincenzo Spadafora, an Italian politician, came out during an interview and stated in politics, homosexuality is used to hurt, to attack an opponent, something I now want to avoid. Two weeks before he came out, the Italian Senate rejected a bill that would have criminalized violence against LGBTQ plus people due to opposition from the Vatican. I applaud Vincenzo for coming out. Hopefully it will change public opinion in Italy. So this is a different coming out story, but a necessary one. Billy Porter came out as HIV positive. He told the Hollywood Reporter that he feared disclosing it would give another way for people to discriminate against me in an already discriminatory profession. I am so proud of Billy for coming out about his status because in the African-American community, there is so much stigma regarding HIV and AIDS. Good Morning America producer Toni Morrison, not to be confused with the writer, also came out as HIV positive to help erase stigma surrounding HIV. Eric Velasco from the Homo Homie podcast also came out as HIV positive. This is a snippet from what he had to say. Um, I posted my episode for um, World AIDS Day regarding my HIV status. I didn't do it for me. I did it for others. Eric stated that he came out because there was little research regarding being positive and the COVID vaccine. You can watch the full video on his Instagram account at the Homo homie. Ella Hunt is an English actress and singer. She is most known for her roles in Intruders, the Apple TV series Dickinson, and most recently Summer Night. She came out as queer in an interview with Square Mile. Leo Tempton, who also played in Summer Night, is most known for being a contestant on America's Next Top Model and their role in Crazy Stupid Love. In June, they made a post on Instagram. It stated, Hi, my name is Leo. My pronouns are they, them. I am proud to announce I am queer and I identify as non-binary. Congratulations to Leo. Adelaide Kane is an Australian actress and model. She is most known for her roles on the CW's Rain, one of my favorites, Once Upon a Time, and Teen Wolf. In February, Kane revealed she identifies as bisexual. Kara Cunningham, most known for her Leave Britney Alone video, is one of the very first viral YouTube sensations. In August, Cunningham came out as transgender. Congratulations to her. DJ Minx is a legend. She is one of the founding women of the Detroit techno house scene. She is the founder of the Women on Wax label. In 2016, Time Out New York named her one of the best house music DJs of all time. She came out in June on Instagram. Who's coming out shocked you? Who did you fall in love with? Who will you stalk on social media? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you already haven't. Like and share the video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.